salvation, world religions are united in the worship of the Supreme Being and there is communication with the spirit world once again. The awareness of the third era was revealed to a Vietnamese civil servant when he was contacted by a great, infinite being named Cao Dai during a seance. The name means roofless tower and refers to the Supreme Being, God, or universal spirit of oneness. Believers also fully respect esoteric sources of information, such as channeling spirits, or connection with the Supreme Being through meditation. For example, one such spirit is that of the French author Victor Hugo, who is thought to have been one of the Supreme Being's messengers to the Western world. Clergy of this faith are divided into three subgroups representing Buddhism, Confucianism, and Taoism, and organized along a structure borrowed from Roman Catholicism though today without a pope. The Supreme Being is symbolized as a left eye, called the celestial or divine eye, which represents God. It is a left eye because the left eye is linked to the right brain, and the right brain is synced with the infinite, random, and creative universe. In the pupil of this eye is always a yin-yang symbol. Adherents believe in karma, and seek merit through religious practices and service to society to transcend the cycle of reincarnation. Cao Dai represents a modernizing synthesis that began appealing to educated Vietnamese living under colonial rule. This modern perspective includes the emphasis on spirit contact, since Western spiritualist phenomenon has been regarded in some circles as scientific. In 1943, a Kaodai army was established during the Japanese occupation of Indochina. After the war, the Kaodai was an effective force in national politics. The army was disbanded in 1956 by the premier at the time, and the Kaodai pope was sent into exile. After the communist takeover in 1975, the Kaodai faith was repressed by the government, and legalized again ten years later. Today, there are roughly six million followers of the faith. Thank <laughs> you.